Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while and I apologize for not filming sooner, but I've been a busy girl and uh, I went to IMAX. Like, I did some damage, like lots of damage and I don't regret it. Who wants to see what I got at IMAX New York uh, 2016? <laughs> Okay, so I went to New York. So I pretty much will show you guys what I picked up, how I feel about it so far, or why I picked it up in the first place, and if I've tried it or not. Some of these products, if not most of these products, I haven't tried, um, because I wanted to haul them for you guys first. So this is gonna be a lengthy. Go take a pre-break, grab a snack, and come join me. Come to the darkness. <laughs> so I'm apologizing ahead of time if my camera goes in and out of focus. I'm working on it guys. So a couple days before I met, I got a Sephora haul, a little quick Sephora haul. So the first thing I picked up was the Sweet Peach palette and it's what I have on my eye. It's what I have on my eyes today. Let's redo that. Um, and I've been wearing it pretty much every day. I wore it to IMATS because actually the day I wore it to IMATS was the first time I wore it. I took its virginity the day that I went to IMATS and this is that pretty girl right there. This smells like peaches. Um, people were saying that it smells like so edible and stuff but to me it smells like peaches but it smells almost fragrant peach not like yummy i want to eat a peach i don't know if that makes sense but anyway it doesn't smell like you know a pure peach i don't know i don't know everyone was like oh my god i just want to eat it and i'm like it just smells like peaches it smells really really good though um very fruity but not like it's almost like it has a little tinge of floral to it but it is peachy, if that makes sense. I don't know, but anyway. So this is the palette right here. The colors I have on my eyes today is Puree, which is this shade right here. It's that really pretty shade. I find that with this shade, it applies better if I put it with my finger. I just ruined my eyeliner there. But if I apply it with my finger, I feel like I get more pigmentation out of it or if it's wet, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I've even used it on the crease. I also put in a little bit of this as a base. This one is called Candied Peach, which is a little bit more pinker. I don't know if my swatches are gonna come out good today, but anyway. And I use some Tempting on the corner, the outer V. Now this is a very olivey green color. And it's really, really pretty and it's so pigmented that I literally only needed a little bit to put it on the outer V and I just blend, I just sat there for like 15 minutes just to blend. Honey, you know how we roll, we got to blend. This is a must have, I kinda wish they didn't make a limited edition but whatever. But with that, I picked up a Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick. This was actually the only one in stock. But I picked it up on a whim because I wanted to try it out. I haven't worn it yet but I think I might do a tutorial with these two bad boys right here. I don't know, you guys, let me know. Give it a thumbs up, comment down below. You know how it is. Let me know if you want another Too Faced or one brand tutorial style. I think I did one already, but just let me know. This is the color Unicorn, yep. And it is just this beautiful orchid purple. And I will swatch it right there. It smells very similar to their melted lipsticks. It, it doesn't have an overpowering scent. It just smells like nothing, which is great. And I think the color is really, really pretty and it's perfect for spring. So I'm excited I picked those two up. So I went to Bio Seaweed Gel. This is a brand that I absolutely love for gel polishes. Um, I've actually done a review for them and also like a removal process on how great and quick this stuff removes. And I picked up two of their newest collection. This is the, um, I guess the phases color. This is just like, mood polish which is my favorite kind of polish ever so i picked up the shade jupiter this is p8 jupiter and both of the colors i picked up very mauvey once they're so it's a really darkish kind of mauvey purple um and when it it's cold when it's um warm and when it's warm it turns into this like light pinky mauve it's not as vibrant as that it looks really really pretty so they were awesome um and i picked up mercury which is a very similar color when you look at them in the package this is a lot more purple i just thought they were both really beautiful and i actually this is more glittery this is a more glittery purple which 
I could admire. And I love it because their brand is pretty amazing. They're a little bit on the pricier side, but I think they're dropping their prices and they have so many sales. And I think I just posted recently um, a 30% off coupon for them or it's on their website. They're awesome. This stuff, this you need a base and a top coat, but I mean, it lasts so long and it comes off in five minutes. Like you don't have to sit there for half an hour and soak your nails. It comes off in five minutes. So this is the Bio Seaweed Gel Mood Polishes. This is their Phases color and they're a Canadian brand and they're amazing. The girls there are wonderful. And Ellen, if you see this, thank you for everything. And I love chatting with all you girls. Freaking gorgeous, by the way, all of them, every single one of them. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna move to Canada, okay? I think most of us are after this election, but that's neither here nor there. Where do I go first? Anyway, so I went to Nigel's and I picked up some stuff. Um, some of it's makeup, some of it's not. So the first thing I picked up was the RCMA No Color Powder. I'm kind of peeved because a couple of YouTubers made it popular, which I'm all for it, but it made it to the point that it was difficult for me to like pick it up for my kit. Like I'm like, I use this on clients. like. You guys saw so-and-so and X, Y, and Z rave about it. And granted, it's great. I love listening to other YouTubers rant and rave about products, but I feel like some people just go a little extra to like, oh my God, I need it. Like, it was just so crazy. Like, I had people like arguing online over this shit. So this is actually a really, really great powder. It's no flashback. It is really good. The hype is real. I was just annoyed because it's been sold out for so long. But I knew I was going to pick up. I had a little sampler a friend gave me. <sighs> that sucker lasted me a while. You only need a little bit. I use it for mostly just under the eyes and for setting around the nose area for most of my clients as well. And I actually do love it. And I picked this one up. I think it was like $9. So I picked up some beauty blenders. I picked up the trio for $35. And it comes with a little baby beauty blender. And I think I got like three of these now and I have I haven't used them at all but I think I'm actually gonna put those baby beauty blenders in my kit because I do find with my older clients that it's just perfect for right around this area and it comes with a little liquid cleaner so I got one of each color you can never have enough beauty blenders love it love it love it and these are the real deal baby this is this is where it's at so oh and it has a cute bangle with like or like a bracelet at Nigel's, I picked up the Color Switch Duo, and this one's by Vera Mona. And I will show you guys really what it is. And the reason why I got this was because when I'm doing clients, and if I have a couple of them to do at once, I find it so much easier to use something like this. I spot clean my brushes when I'm with my clients, and I try to use maybe two to three brushes tops, especially for the eyes. I know that's easier said than done, um, but granted, I love brushes, and I clearly invested in brushes coming soon so i figured i'd pick up the veramona i might invest in the wrist part one um depending on how much space i have to work with but this right here it's a sponge and what you do is you take let's say you would take a brush like this i've not put it to the test yet but i've seen other people use it i've heard lots of people rant and rave about it i've seen it in use so you're supposed to be able to either put mac fix plus or just even water in the center and you would use that to make your shadows more pigmented so this would be like your quick go-to let me make it pigmented rather than spray and you're supposed to be able to take a brush and swirl it around your veramona and it's supposed to clean your brushes and you're supposed to be able to go huh okay there's no dust kickback or nothing hmm. did you guys see that Hold on, I'm trying to look for another dirty brush. Um, I didn't put it to the test. I actually wanted to do it with you guys. And um, I'm impressed. I just cleaned a brush in front of you guys. Like, I just swirled it around. And I could... I, there literally is no powder kickback. I used it yesterday. Do this again. This brush. Clearly dirty. This is a, a dual fiber brush. We're going to try this again. So you just swirl back and forth. Get out. <gasps> yes, I knew. I mean, I've seen it done so many times before, but I mean, this is perfect for clients. Look, it's back to white. There's no dust kickback, nothing. I, or not. 
So I picked I picked up another view set palette. This is called the Tahiti and it's got 24 little pans. Now I already have one. This one's my original OG first view set palette. And this one has all my lipsticks. This is actually in my kit. Um, this is airtight. I labeled them all in the back by lipstick and I might want to relabel these, but anyway. I digress but anyway I labeled them all in the back this is my first view set palette I picked this up at um, IMATS two years ago and this is the lipsticks they still smell fresh it seals beautifully this is something I would recommend anyone that's starting up or that wants to organize their makeup like some people don't like lipstick tubes I don't know who does or doesn't like lipstick tubes but some people don't like the lipstick tubes and I think this is a great way so I picked up a second one and this is actually gonna house all 24 of my LA Girl Pro Concealers. So this is gonna house all my LA Girl Pro Concealers. So I don't know if I'm gonna do a video on that because that just seems tedious, but I can like maybe do a quick Instagram type video. Um, I've already pre-labeled them with a label maker. So that's that's the OCD in me. But yeah, I pre-labeled pre them already, so when I go to transfer them out, it'll be easy peasy. Okay, so I went and got quite a bit of brushes. I knew I was gonna go get some brushes, and anyway. Now the Morphe line was crazy. So my friend Lauren and I were actually both at IMATS together with her boo. Hi, Lauren's boo, how you doing? Um, And I'm gonna leave her channel down below, by the way, guys. Check her out. She's one she's freaking adorable she's such a beauty and she's a makeup artist as myself and she's just so honest and her reviews are great she has a great channel so check her out down below but we were at imats together we knew we were both going to pro night i was not staying next year next year or the year after i will be there all weekend but anyway so we went onto the morphe line and it was psychotic mind you this is pro night so there's not as many people the folks at mer mer <laughs> <laughs> the folks at morphe nailed it um were awesome they just pretty much told us oh you guys don't need to make a line but that's really not how it happened like it took me like six tries to just kind of get a gap in so i can at least look at a couple brushes and then finally when i got in it was towards the end of the night when we, they were about to close it was like 6 50 lockdown but yeah um i went to morphe and i picked up a few brushes um, it, I had a list, but I didn't follow that list. I kind of just, because I already bought the brushes I wanted from other companies, I just winged it, you know? The first brush I picked up was the M402. This is just their Morphe brush. This is a nice little C brush. It's great for packing on the inner corner, for cleaning up under the brows, and what I really got it for was to smudge under the eyes. I think this is nice. It's dense and I'm sure with some use it'll get like nice and fluffy but I think that this is a great even for contouring and stuff like that it would be great but I figured this would be a nice little brush to do some smaller detail multitasking stuff with as far as highlighting goes so this is the M408 so the next brush I picked up was because I needed I've been looking for under eye smudger brushes like a mofo this is the e36 this is from their elite collection and this brush is so cute it's like it's like a little baby i don't know there's one from elf that i like and it's one of their crease brushes and it looks very similar to this but i like the duo fiber of it and this is also great for like spot treating color correcting in a corner highlights Boo, name it, bam. So the next Morphe brush I got was the M433. This is highly recommended by everyone and their mother and on YouTube. This reminds me of that very popular 217 MAC brush and that's why I got it. Um, I think these were like $7 or $6 or something like that. Um, so this is the M433. It's really, really pretty and it's got a kind of like a taper. It's pinched and tapered and it's perfect for like outer V work. For packing on the lid all that good stuff the next morphe brush i picked up was the m441 which is a lot larger than the m433 
you guys can see the difference there. This is a lot more fluffier, but it's also tapered to the point that I can clean up a cut crease. So say I was trying to do a cut crease, I can blend that sucker out with a brush like this because it is pointed at the ends, but it's fluffy enough that, you know, it'll give you that good blend work. And I picked up the M M139, which is one that I wanted. This is a small blending brush, but it reminded me so much of my 109 brush from Sonia Kashuk, just like the little baby version. This one's dirty, by the way. The last Morphe brush I picked up was the M439. This is Jaclyn Hill's favorite, or one of her favorites, and I, I wanted another buffing brush. I love my Sigma brushes, which by the way, I didn't stop by there. But anyway, um, I love the Sigma brushes, but this felt a lot more softer, and it even felt like it would be good for like packing on some cream contour even though it's pretty large it's soft enough that it's not like too dense but it would do great blending wise so i'm excited because i picked this bad boy up and it's one of their best sellers so i had to okay so i went to royal land nickel like as you guys know if you saw my last haul these bad boys are royal land nickel they were there too but i already bought these so um i picked up a couple of their Royal Land Nickel brushes. This is the 20 over zero brush. Let me show you guys. Can you see? I needed a very fine liner brush. Can you guys see where the brush starts or ends? I didn't think so. So let me see if I can. There we go. It's a very baby, 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 baby brush. So that's this brush right here. It's perfect for detail work. I thought this brush would be perfect for that like detailed wing eyeliner especially for my clients with more hooded eyes where you don't have much room to work with i love that the end is tapered so you can scoop out product and i think this is actually perfect for like freckle work yes i do freckles okay and i picked up their five over zero brush which is a little bit a lot a bit larger like this is a lot larger but it's thin and tapered and i hope that these last me a while because i've been looking for some fine liner brushes so i'm excited about those so i wasn't done yet so those were like five dollar brushes which they're inexpensive guys if you ever want good soft you know, synthetic brushes, Royal and Land Nickel is where it's at. But anyway, I picked up another Royal and Land Nickel. This is their soft grip brush. This is their number two brush. I thought this would be great for tight lining. Some of my clients do not like wing liners. They love the tight line though, and I don't mind tight lining with something like this. And also to be able to apply on the waterline, just to press on to the waterline like that. This is a perfect brush for that. It's also good for shaping under the brows and also for doing fine line strokes, like for the eyebrows. And this little bad boy is gonna be my friend for that too. So I got that and this is great. I love that it has like a grip. So if you're doing more intricate work, you have that little grip to keep you from, uh, I don't know, losing yourself. And I also picked up the three over zero brush. This is another liner style brush. It's a lot longer and a little bit thicker. So I figured why not? So picked up a Royal Nanico Revolution brush. This is actually a fan brush. It comes packaged like this. Let me take it out of the package because I've been wanting to use it. And this is a super soft like fan brush. I wanted something a little bit more denser, but this is great for those clients that don't like the highlight like I do. So yeah, this is really, really soft and it's synthetic and they're very inexpensive. I paid $5 for the black handled ones and $3 for these clear artsy ones. So I'm excited. So I went to Gazette or Cazetti Brushes. Um, Rocky is the owner and he's just an amazing human being. I took a picture with him, we talked, I just told him how awe-inspiring he is and how good he makes me feel when we chat and you know, just how good he makes others feel. Like it's, he's just an amazing being. Anyway, I picked up the Cazetti, um, I always say Cazette, but I'm gonna say Cazetti because I feel like I'm saying it wrong anyway. Um, this is the Ar Aromatherapy Brush Cleaner. I didn't have the big bad boy, but I got this one. And it's really, really good. It's a great brush cleaner. Amazing. Someone knocked it over. One of my clients knocked it over and I lost it. 
the little bit that I had left, but whatever. So anyway, with that, I picked up one of his original brushes. His other one wasn't available, but I picked up the S175 brush. This is a perfect crease brush. It's dense enough, but fluffy enough. Like, I love that stuff. These are like my favorite kind of brushes. And I love the pointed end. I love the purple handle. They come in red as well, but purple is where it's at for me and my kit, boo. Oh, I picked up his entire Infinite Collection brushes. Oh my God. I saw when he was making these and how good he talked about them and the energy that went behind making these brushes. And let me tell you, if you're an artist of any sort, uh, you would want the best quality brushes. You would want the best quality tools. Knowing what I know about Rocky and his brand, I knew I was going to get these brushes. So anyway, he put so much work and love into these brushes that it's ridiculous. So this is the number two brush. First of all, Let's admire the handle on this brush. It's got a brush nickel or gunmetal style a ferrule, almost like a granite base. Absolutely gorgeous. This is the number two brush. It's a dual fiber brush. It is fluffy, wonderful, beautifulness. I'm actually gonna use this mostly for highlighting or for packing on powder in the center of the face, but you can use these brushes for anything down to contouring, okay? Even to cream products. This is so soft and it just, oh, it's, Guys, this brush is so, so freaking soft. Okay, anyway, so this is the number three brush right here. This bad boy right here is absolutely gorgeous. It's an angled brush. It is super soft. It is also a dual fiber. I will leave his website down below, actually, so if you guys are interested in doing a little bit of research on his brushes, go ahead and do so. This is perfect for blush. This is perfect for contouring. This is perfect for just cleaning up and powdering around the face. This is a brush that I love. I would I just, I put it all on my face and I was like, this is the number six brush and this is pretty much your typical foundation lay down product brush. This is actually a little bit thicker. This almost looks like a 217, just larger for the face, but this is perfect. And it's so soft. Like you barely could press it on the skin and it is just so soft. This is a great brush for laying down product. It just glides right on like, oh. Uh, but uh, this was the reason why I wanted the kits. I mean, I wanted it all anyway, but this brush right here, this is the number one brush. Guys, it's gorgeous. Like, look at that. Look at that. You just know, you just know it's soft by me doing this. Like, it's just crazy soft. Oh, it's like but uh, oh, I gotta wash these anyway, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. gives you a couple of eye brushes as well with this kit. This is the number seven brush, perfect for laying down pigments, for laying down glitters, for laying down or packing on some color, also for concealing under the eyes and for contouring. This is perfect. It's very dense, very dense, and it is it's it is perfect for glitters, this brush right here. Do whatever you want with the brush, but I'm just telling you. So this actually I thought would be great for a nice spot concealer and also for like in a corner highlight and stuff. This is the number 10 brush, and it is really, really dense. And pointed and it's beautiful it comes with an angled brush this brush is so fluffy for it being an angled brush but this is like perfect for like going under the eye and blending that out don't be fooled because it looks angled and it's it looks dense it's actually really really soft this is the number nine brush and I don't think he sells them separately I think you have to buy them in a kit but the next brush I have which is interesting I don't know what to do with this bad boy yet but I think this is also gonna be another lay down brush for me. This is the number eight brush. It's so pretty. Okay, so the next brush is a cute fluffy thing and this is the number five brush. Perfect for packing down. I actually use brushes like this to blend under the lash line. I like using one brush for a lot of things. This is actually really good for highlighting the nose. Uh, the cupid's bow for under the brow for packing on on the lid. This is a great brush. It is super soft, not too dense. I don't know, it's nice and thick. And this is the number five brush. Next one I got is the number 11 brush with this collection and it is a very long tipped, this is a long liner brush. Like this is more for that intricate, 
like if you want to do like face design and stuff like that that would be great like if i want to do swirls or even freckles or you know just a nice line you could do a lot with this brush it's long you definitely have to practice with something that's this long but you would be able to get more of a finer line with a brush like this so this one is the number four brush from Cazetti, and this is just perfection this is perfect for blending it's got a pinched ferrule to the point that it's tapered but it's so fluffy and it is like perfect for blending this is the Cosetti number four brush so I went to Smith's and picked up some brushes like I didn't already have enough but this was on my list first brush I got was the 235 brush now I've been wanting these for over a year and I had already had my list of brushes that I wanted this is perfect for hitting that inner corner and packing it on they do have a larger one I want to say it's like a 252 or 254 I want to say it's a 252. It's a little bit larger, but I figured because I have a lot more clients with smaller eyes, more hooded eyes, this would be perfect for hitting the inner corner because it's pointed. You can even go under the lash line with that. You can even contour with it. You can do a lot with this brush. It's so artsy. The handle is beautiful. It feels like weight, but solid. I just absolutely love, love, love this brush. Next brush I picked up is their, uh, is it their newer brush? It is their newer brush. This is their 203 brush. This was released the day of IMATS and I had to pick it up. This is so fine. Like, I don't think you guys will be able to see how fine it is. It almost, the ferrule, I don't know why I'm doing this, but the ferrule alone is thicker than where the brushes are. It's crazy to me. Um, but this is perfect for doing the brows, for doing a fine line. Yes, this brush is gonna, this one's mine. Next brush I got was the 230 brush, and it's this beautiful tapered crease brush. It's perfect for uh, buffing out some eyeliner or for hitting that outer V and just blending it out. So that is the 230 brush, gorgeous. Pick up a face brush. This is the Smith 112 brush, and it's this is actually going to be for highlighting because I love the way it feels. I could even use it under the eyes. It's really all depending on the clientele that I have. This is actually going in my kit, but it is gorgeous. It is gorgeous, but I may or may not have already bought duplicates of these brushes. Okay, and the last one is not a traditional eye brush. This is the 220. This is why I admire the brand so much. They've gone out of the typical norm. This brush. This brush looks crazy, doesn't it? This brush is thin. It is pinched perfectly, like it's pinched tight. Um, and the kicker is, it is so soft. Like, look at that. It is so soft. This I'm gonna use for under the lash line. This is for me. I'm gonna use for under the lash line. Great for snatching the nose, for going under the brows, and for going under the lash line. So, and even for highlighting, pam, pam, pam. There you go. So that is it for brushes. We're gonna move on to the makeup now. Thank you guys for bearing with me. Here we go. I didn't get enough brushes. I need more. I got this Lit Cosmetics Glitter for free. Um, they were giving it away to the pros and I got the shade California Soul. Look at that. I'm not even gonna tip it because it looks crazy. It's holographic glittery goodness. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous. I think I want to do a look with this with some black, black and pink. Anyway, so the first place I went to at IMATS was the Violet Voss uh, booth because I felt like I didn't know how much stock they had and I didn't want them to sell out quicker. So I went and picked up just three. Just all of their palettes. That's all I went and picked up. So I'm gonna show you guys the highlighting palette first. This was this is going to be released in the summertime. So I picked it up. This is the Violet Voss highlighting powders. This is going in. Um, this is going in my kit, but it is gorgeous. So the colors here are just really really pretty. It has a full size mirror. It is gorgeous. I did swatch them. Okay. So one of the first colors called Unicorn Luster. That's this bad boy right here. The next one is called Star Glow. And the third one's called Moon Gleam. And that's them right there. Look at that. These are like perfect inner corner highlights. I'm just going to. Look at that. 
Look at that. And that's all I really need in my kit are these three bad boys right there. And any other highlighters are for me. Um, I might use them in a look. Thinking I want to do a one brand tutorial kind of series or like a mostly one brand tutorial kind of series. So yeah, I might do a look with these. These are really, really pretty. Very pigmented. Um, kind of powdery. Um, more of the darker gold is powdery. But if you blend it in, it's like perfect. Like I'm blending it in right now. It's just like, oh. Gorgeousness, gorgeousness. I picked up the Holy Grail palette. Don't judge me. This is gorgeous, guys. This palette is perfection. I don't care what other palette you've been waiting on. I would, I would go get the Holy Grail. If you're into warm, warm eyeshadow colors, get the Holy Grail. So are you guys ready? Mm, I'm sure you're ready. So it has a full size mirror that is the Holy Grail palette right there. Look at that. Gorgeousness. Let me show y'all something. So we have Crystal, which is this color right here. Look at that, pigmentation. Uh uh no, 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 we can't be messing it up. I'm gonna go take On Fleek, which is one of the shades that really attracted me to the palette. Y'all watch this now. One, two swirls. Did you see that? Oh! Look at this. Look at watch. I'm gonna show y'all. Swipe. I mean, it's a shitty swatch, but I mean, these colors are ridiculously pigmented. I'm gonna do these pants are gonna be dirty. I'm gonna do toffee, which is one I did not swatch. I didn't swatch that one. Okay, we're gonna swatch toffee. Oh, it's okay. I mean, I mean, I didn't go hard on it at all. That's toffee right there. That is. Holy shit. Oh, yes. Okay. Mm -mm. Oh, I didn't do glamping or cranberry splash. I didn't do these two shades. Let's just do them. Actually, let's do some mattes. This is teddy bear. One, two swirls. Y'all. Let's do browning points, which I thought was beautiful. Guys, like this is ridiculous. I'm going to do glamping. I didn't swatch that one. I must have been half asleep. Do glamping. Oh, that's so pretty. It looks very similar to Teddy Bear, but with more of a shimmer. Look at that. And then this is Teddy Bear. Eh. Let's see. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. This palette is gorgeous. If you're all about warms, this is where it's at. The Holy Grail palette by Violet Voss. I think it's under $52 and you get 30 eyeshadows. 30 eyeshadows, $52, you do the math, okay? I picked up the Drenched in Metals palette only because the kiddo said, why don't you get all three? Well, not really. She just said she liked the Drenched in Metals um, look of it. So that's it right there. It's got a lot more cool tones to it. Definitely some greens. Um, this black is called Midnight Tryst. It's like a dark gray almost. It is. That's pigmentation right there, my friend. Pigmentation. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swatch come through. This one right here is yellow. It's really hard to get yellows to look vibrant, and it's really hard to get purples to look vibrant. So here's come through. It's more of a golden yellow. And this one's a little powdery, but it's so pretty that you can use that as an all over the lid color. And it's not too like yellow, yellow, where you can't like work with it on an everyday basis. I'm going to do Dark Desires. If I have a clean finger here. This one's super buttery. Y'all, look at this. Don't mind the fat. But look at this color. Let's see. Do I have room? That's a purple. That is what I was expecting from the peanut butter and jelly palette from Too Faced, and that's not what I got. That is what I was expecting for jelly, guys. All right, I'm gonna do Mermaid Vixen right here, which is gorgeous, and it looks beautiful. That would be like a perfect inner corner highlight for a like dark smoky eye or for underneath the lash line. Oh, I didn't swatch Frisky. This one right here, this blue. Frisky, I'm so fancy, grunge. Let's do confessions and oh, there's one matte here in the whole palette besides the black. And that's this one right here. It's perfect crease shade. Like it's a perfect crease shade. Perfect. Um, 
And the Midnight Tris has some shimmer to it, but it's like a gunmetal dark gray. Like, it's gorgeous. But anyway, let's do... Let's do Frisky. Ooh, this one's buttery. All right, I'm gonna do I'm So Fancy. Which one did I say? Grunge or Minx? Let's do Minx. And let's do Confessions. Yes. I mean, look at that blue, man. Ah! Look at that. Look at that! Y'all. I don't even care. This is so worth it. It is ridiculous how worth it it is. Gorgeous, gorgeous palette. There's, it's, you can, oh. I even like this better than the Makeup Forever palette. This is what this reminds me of. If you wanted the Makeup Forever palette and just didn't want to like, I don't know, these are way better. They're easier to work with and it has pretty much very, very similar colors to it. So I'm just saying, that's what it reminded me of and I'm excited that I picked it up. So from Violet Voss, I picked up four liquid lipsticks. I actually picked up five, but one of them for, was for the kiddo. So it's a duplicate um, of one of the ones that I picked up. So I'm just gonna show you guys. I picked up two of the color Wasted, which is this color right here. This is like an everyday color. It's not what I'm wearing on my lips. This is a perfect everyday color. And I got this one for the kiddo. And it just, it has no strong scent or anything like that, but that's the color right there. Look at that pigmentation. I actually haven't used these at all yet. I haven't even swatched them. So that's wasted right there. Well, I, I swatched them at eye mats, but that's wasted. The next color I got, these feel like glass, but it's frosted. The next color I got was Muse. And again, no scent. This is more on that grayish, pinky, nudish color that I love. Um, the next color is Lust. I love the names of these, by the way. This is like my color. This is my grayish, my grayish, beige browns right there. And they're very pigmented. They don't come out sloppy or anything like that they dry quick um the swatches i had dried up pretty quickly so and i picked up the shade flirt which is a lot darker but again it's in the same spectrum in that cool tone spectrum that i've been rocking lately that is flirt this one comes out a little bit more streakier but i have no problems building it up that's gorgeous hmm. yep so that's flirt I did pretty well picking up some goodies there. I told you I was gonna pick up some liquid lipsticks. So those are the four right there. So the great thing about Pronite is that you can get Makeup Forever stuff for 40% off. So I picked up the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. This one is in Y131. Oh no, Y31. And I'm gonna show y'all what I see. When I put it under my eyes, it's a gorgeous corrector almost. It's almost like a corrector shade on me. It is so yellow. Like on me, it looks so yellow. But I made it work the other day when I wore it and my eyes looked pretty good. It's more full coverage and it just, it dries quickly. It almost, not matte, but set. And like right now, I feel like it's set. Like I don't have anything there. So like I had a little issue with it looking too yellow on me, but once I set it with powder, it looked good. I only wore it yesterday and no creasing under the eyes or anything. I only put a little bit on the beauty blender and made sure I blended it for a while because my under eyes have been really, really dry lately. So I just knew that I had to work the product, but it actually did really, really well. Um, I know my friend Lauren wasn't too, isn't too happy with this one, but I'm sure she can figure out a way to make it work and tweak it to her liking. Well, I hope so. So anyway, I finally gave in and got the Ultra HD Makeup Stick. This is in the shade 118, Y three two five wait why three two five i actually wore it the other day though i just put the cap back on this is actually a good match for my skin tone um and it blends beautifully like i didn't i didn't think it was gonna blend but i used it with my beauty blender i'm sure i can use it with a brush and then pat it down with the beauty blender same technique i use for pretty much anything so i just picked up some more lipsticks because I don't have a problem. First place I went to was Lunatic Cosmetics and I've been watching them on Instagram for so, so, so long. And they're actually a really cute indie brand. Um, they have some amazing products. If you like that Ouija board zombie witchy stuff, 
it is actually pretty much their style. It's gorgeous. Anyway, they got some lipsticks that I wanted from there and I picked up two of each because everything with me has to be an even number. Either I have an even number or it's an odd number, but it has to be like so worth it or it has to be the number 13. Science. Um, <laughs> so this is one of their cream lipsticks. This is the Coven Cream. I actually wore this today. No, I didn't wear this one today. I wore a Renegade, which is the one I'll show you afterwards. This has this wonderful minty scent. It reminds me of the Ebony lipstick um, that I bought a couple years ago at IMATS. Perfect, perfection. Very vampy, like dead look, which my cup of tea. This is the color Renegade. This is a beautiful, cool tone of brown color. It's actually very similar to Coven. And actually these two blended together will probably make a fantastic baby right there. Gorge. I picked up two of their bullets. Um, literally, two of their bullets. Look at this. Oh, this is so exciting. I actually took a picture of it um, with my husband's Call of Duty and his Elite controller, and I was like, this is fabulous. Anyway, this is the lipstick. This is an RPG. It's a gorgeous pink. Um, it's more of a mauve lilac -y color really pretty super soft these actually just smell like a really soft lipstick it's not overpowering or anything it actually smells really really nice i hope these fit in my thing and the other color i got was ak-40 like look at that man ak-47 which is this looks like underground from gerard cosmetics that one right there they look very similar actually, but I needed to have two, so I picked out these two. I picked up some Jouer liquid lipsticks. I wasn't gonna do the haul until I got the color that I was missing. I actually went and told her bang, 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 and she was so awesome there. Um, I even mentioned Jackie Ina because she is the reason why I was interested in these lipsticks and I trust her input. I'm actually wearing one on my lips right now. It feels like I have nothing on my lips so I keep like going like this because I'm like, do I have anything on my lips? Do I need chapstick or something? I don't know. They're a little drying when you wear them without a base. So if you don't moisturize your lips, you're going to feel these are a little drying. But it feels like you're wearing nothing. Like, um, um, ah, I don't know. But anyway, I picked up four colors and the one I wanted was papaya or papai, and she gave me the wrong one. But that's the one I have on my lips, and I didn't realize that was the one I put on. But they said they're sending it to me, so I'll have papai, which is this gorgeous, shimmery, I don't know, it's oh, just gorgeousness. I will definitely post a picture of that. But anyway, the color that I did not pick, which is the one I have on my lips, and I have World Lip Liner on, you know, to contour the lips a little bit. It's called Melon. This is really, really pretty just everyday pinky nude and that's this one right here it's gorgeous it's what i have on my lips this is perfect for all those fair to medium skin tone girls if you are darker complected you definitely need to blend this with a lip liner um you don't want it to look too like ashen in a sense so i got that so the next color i got was noisette gorgeous color it's a darker brown it's a 90s brown that's what it is and that's this color right here. I mean, I love, this smells so good. It's just, these smell so good, they smell like candy. I just wanna eat them. So that's Noise, is this Noisette? This is Noisette, which is gorgeous, everyday brownie nude. And I got Dulce de Leche. Like, I, they clearly played it safe with the colors. I didn't want any of the reds, even though I should've, but this is Dulce de Leche. Again, I wear these all the time. Like, I wear these nudes. These are my go-to nudie lips. You can never have enough nudes. So this looks very similar to Melon, and that's why I didn't pick Melon. I picked Papaye, because this is more of a brownish tone. This is more cool tone mauve pink, and this is more pinky, which is what I have. But I can literally... That's it. I mean, they look the same. I got Patel the Rose. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right or not. These smell so good, you could just eat them. This is way more pinkier, mauve toned right there. I mean, this is, this is pretty neutral, man. Even for me, this is pretty neutral. So I figured since I've gone crazy with the Jeffree Stars, I tone it down a notch and I really love liquid lipsticks. I go to them all the time. Carry them with me in my purse so I know that these will be loved and yes so yeah i got those 
I feel like I'm missing something. Am I missing anything? I took off my lipstick. I was gonna get ready. And then I forgot that I went to Dose of Colors with my friend Lauren. Anyway, so this clip is gonna be offy because I forgot to add these. So I went to Dose of Colors with my friend Lauren and I was trying to get one thing from there and I wanted their Hidden Treasures palette so bad. And that's really all I wanted and maybe two lipsticks. So I ended up giving up given in and getting two of their liquid lipsticks. So the first one I picked up was Desert Suede, which I wore the other day and it is, you're not gonna be surprised by the color of it. It is a grage, it's gorgeous. It has a sweet scent, but it's like not overpowering. It's almost very similar to what Jeffree Star's smell like, um, kind of sweet, not root beer like, like Jeffree Star's, but whatever so i picked up bear with me which is a gorgeous shade it is one of like my kind of nudes and this is more of a, a peachy tone this is actually the most warmest lipstick i've picked up besides this one right here which dried pretty quickly by the way but anyway um this actually feels really really good this is my first time trying the violet boss lipstick so yeah um i should have worn this one anyway so many lipsticks so many choices i'm gonna go have a drink and I'll continue with the rest of the video. Love you guys. So yes, my loves, that is pretty much it for this super lengthy haul video. I love going to IMATS. It's a totally different experience. I might go to the makeup show next year or I might just full blown out go to IMATS. But I feel like I want a different, you know, scenery. So I might try to go to the makeup show with my friend Lauren. Again, her channel is linked down below. So check it out. She's freaking amazing. And if you do check her out, watch one of her videos and let her know that I sent you. Like, let her know that the love is there, okay? But anyway, guys, I hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. By the way, check out the vlog, which was posted before this, and you guys can see like how crazy the trip looked. So, bye.